All right, the things we talk about off the air. We're back. <laughs> Boy, we had a good show this uh, tonight. I'm telling you. By the way, <laughs> I was about the, uh, on the top of the show, Dylan, you said I was a good troll because. All right, so one of my exes, if she wasn't even. A, <laughs> oh, we're getting into this. We're she wasn't even this. a great ex. She wasn't even a great ex. She she was a distant ex. Like I haven't seen her since I was kids, but she took me into dating her long distance relationship. And so this is what he was doing. Yes. So this is what he was doing, guys. This is what he yeah. used during that long distance relationship. <laughs> you betcha. But the thing is, <laughs> he doesn't even deny it. This conversation may get a little slimy, okay? But uh, no, anyway. um, you do what you gotta do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so anyway, so so. She, she's been, she's been on my show before, my morning show. I don't know, I don't know if she's been on. Has she been on that episode of my show before? No, I don't know. Okay, I've never seen her in before in my life. Okay, well, so I dated her over the holiday season like twice, long distance relationship. I haven't seen her since she was a kid. She has cerebral palsy. She's a cute yeah. woman, but, but but she has. A cute, I mean, she's she is cute. She is cute, but to you, well, I mean, she, she is she she has a cuteness to her. You know, she's. She's she, she's, but she she she's very disturbed a little bit. All right, you 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 you're getting the TMI territory, man. You really are. No, but she. Do you she, not remember what Christina Aguilera said? Oh my God, you that's are beautiful person. in every single way. Well, okay. Her well, person. Well, not Derek's jokes. Absolutely not. Those those are like the most horrendous <laughs> things I've ever encountered. Well. Amen. <laughs> All right, I can't take you guys any place. Okay. All right, so so what happened is, um, I take pictures of a lot of girls and males. Okay, but but a lot of girls. <laughs> when he said that, no, a lot no, of males. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying when I when I host karaoke, I'm trying to advertise the place. Okay, I'm trying to like. Advertise as I do karaoke. When I take a picture with this person, this person, hello, join me here. We're having a good time. I'm taking a picture with you know X, Y, and Z. You know, A, B, and C. You know, so I sent a picture. You but know, you don't. I'm sorry. I'm saying you 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 take pictures with the women, but you take pictures with the males. You can't say men. Is there something wrong with the pronouns, Derek? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> The, the 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 ladies, the girls. That's why I take. I, I try to take more pictures with girls, of course, naturally. I, I, yeah, of course, of course. You know, but I I I gotta show pictures of some guys too. People who know, like my friends, who are guys, and, and I'm trying to get like the old crowd from the old bar to come to my new places, you know. And 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 I, I'm just trying, <laughs> TMI Shapiro in the morning. Okay, I like that. Um, but no, no, but but seriously, like. I'm, I'm taking pictures, and so this lady, my ex, who I only had a distant relationship with, she finds it jealous that I'm taking pictures with a lot of ladies. Okay, that's you, Evans. No, 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 no seriously. No. no. Yeah, that's Evans. Evans likes men. Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, so the thing is, okay. Um, where, where have I expressed? I like I like guys. <laughs> oh, okay, Evans loves the ladies. Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, um, so so here's the thing. Okay, I try to take pictures and I show it to. That's you, Derek. I, I I show my ex girlfriend right, <laughs> and <laughs> my sexual. Okay. You said you take pictures with girls and guys, Derek. So technically, okay. I mean, that's what he said. We all heard it. You all, yep. I take pictures with girls. I take pictures with guys. Okay, if it was you and 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 mm. um, and uh, goth body, goth body, you would be shoved to the side, Vinny. Okay, goth body and me. Okay, yeah, um, no. Oh yeah, goth body has a nice body. Yes, but yo, still. are you admitting something, Derek? Goth body, 
I think he pays for OnlyFans. I, I think, think yeah, he went to the OnlyFans. He's got the subscription up. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely. Derek got Derek. Derek, Derek probably Derek probably got his own OnlyFans. It, it's uh, DJ DJ tells no can't tell a joke. No, it's good. It's DJ gets BJ's. <laughs> It's actually kind of funny. There are people that use OnlyFans that are not porn related, and I'm like, "How the hell are you in business?" I think. I don't... Yeah, true. But I've actually read that there were people like someone said, "I'm like, you have an OnlyFans?" He goes, "Yeah, but I mostly do all." I and they said, "She said I do like cooking stuff on there." I'm like, "Wait a minute, people use OnlyFans for things other See? than porn?" She goes, "Yeah." I'm like, "And you stay in business?" Like she goes, "Yeah." I'm like, "Okay, I don't know how you do that." The bottom. The bottom line is, why should this lady be jealous? And she's not even my girlfriend, and she's jealous of ladies' pictures with me. Because uh, women don't want to see you happy with other women. Because I'm a Don Nailed Juan it. DeMarco. Derek, that's the thing. First of all, first of all, just like Evan said, they don't want to see you happy with other women. They don't want to see you around other women with a smile on your face. Then they're gonna wonder why. Why is he not smiling when he's next to me? Is gonna be their first question. I'm a lady, and, yep. and they're gonna think lady. it's because they're not attractive. When in reality, it's because because this girl doesn't bitch at me every twenty seconds. That's why I'm smiling next to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not that I don't. It's not that I don't love. It's not that I don't love you. It's just that sometimes you get on my goddamn nerves. So I'm not gonna always smile. So uh, that's the point. Now, one, one other thing too. <laughs> Um, I, I do have a question for you guys before I end the show. All right. This famous guy is supposed to be four hours away, and there's a way I can meet him again. I met him in Atlanta, okay? Should I drive four hours away if I know I can meet Ryan Seacrest again? Okay. Normally, this is the part of the show where I would say no. But this is the one time I may give a yes just for the simple fact that you have literally been thirsty for Ryan Seacrest for as long as I've known you. You're one of the few people on the planet that actually thinks Ryan Seacrest is a star. And honestly, I would do it just because I feel like it would be a bucket list thing for you. So in a rare moment, I'm going to say yes, make the drive. If it was well, any other celebrity, you. I'd tell you to stay home because you get slapped with a restraining order and go to jail. Ryan Seacrest, in my opinion, is not very relevant, so he may appreciate the attention. So take the four-hour trip. Well, I already interviewed him in Atlanta, okay? Because, okay, see, see, what's happened is in Atlanta, I interviewed him for about two minutes, okay? Because he opened the radio facility. He has a Ryan Seacrest Foundation. He opens up radio facilities at children's hospitals around the country. So when I lived in Atlanta for the three and a half years, when I the, the time I met you, Booch, right? He he was at the Children's Hospital of Atlanta. So I, I he was doing press on, at Star ninety four, which the that station still st still stands now. Yeah, that was that was his mm -hmm. former station. But he, he did an interview actually on B ninety eight point five in Atlanta. Okay, and that's why I heard he was going to be at the Children's Hospital. So I was getting sponsors around the area. I said, let me just see if Ryan Seacrest will be there. He was there. That was the first time I ever interviewed him. I took a picture with him. My arm was shaking. So he's doing the press today, or the press. He was on Good Morning America earlier this week, and he was on his former show live with Kelly and Mark. The thing is, I got to disagree with you, Booch. He's very relevant. You want his seats, Derek. No, but he's he's very relevant. How can you say, <laughs> how can you say Ryan Seacrest is not relevant, though, Vinny? He he's a new host of he's a new host of Wheel of Fortune. He's gonna take over for Pat Sajak, okay? Pat Pat Sajak's is a daddy. Yes, and Ryan Seacrest. He looked like Pat Sajak. Was the host of Live. He he does the New Year's Eve thing every New Year's Eve, but I get more ratings than Ryan Seacrest on my New Year's Eve bash. You know that, Vinny. See, that will prevent you from getting his feeds. But, but, so no, seriously, and, he, and he's host of American Idol. So, how can you say Ryan Seacrest is not relevant, Vinny? Because, yeah, he hosts a, a couple shows, but n there are shows that mostly only old people watch. How many young people you know watch Wheel of Fortune? I'd like to hear. 
Anybody my age group or under that watch Wheel of Fortune? If you do, raise your hand, please. I used to watch. I haven't watched it in years. Exactly. Most people don't even watch Wheel of Fortune. And also, the New Year's Eve thing happens once a year. So it's one of those things where, hey, where's Ryan Seacrest? Oh, yeah. I remember. It's like with Dick Clark. Other than the New Year's Eve, nobody remembered who he was. Other, than, It's like Kathy Griffin. No one knew who the hell she was. They would just see New, on New Year's Eve and go, oh, I remember until she lost that job. Well, he's a, he's on the radio every every day in Atlanta, every every radio station he's on. Tell him, put your damn hands up. You know you watch Real of Fortune. He's on <laughs> iHeart Radio. <laughs> My parents do. Vinny, he's on iHeart Radio every, every afternoon. He does the show on the top okay. radio stations. I'm just saying. Oh. Nobody, I'm just saying, he does certain things, but nobody really gives a shit, is what I'm saying. It's Ryan Seacrest. Nobody really cares. American Idol was the was the most popular thing he ever did. And then when he, and then when yep. he stopped doing that, it went somewhere else. So I'm not saying he's not, he, 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 he's able to get work. He's able to make money. I respect him for it. He's still doing American man, Idol. Uh, for that level, yeah. I mean, he's able to get jobs and hustle and make money, so... I respect anybody in Hollywood that can do that, but as far as star relevant, no. Like you can still get gigs in Hollywood and not be relevant or really like famous. Well, His fame has gone down, but he's still able to make money and make a living because of that fame that he got before. And that, uh, there are a lot of entertainers. No, no, no. But a lot of entertainers host, are like that. He still hosts the American Idol. He, he's not. He's not. He's not the. Who's not somebody? Host. Did somebody else take that over? No. Hey. Hey, else is hosting American Idol. a light bulb just went off in my head. A light bulb just went off in my head. What? Let's see this. Hold on. Derek is trying to be Ryan Seacrest because yes. he tried. He got he got his show. He got a show on iHeartRadio. He put his show on iHeartRadio. He put it on Spotify. He, Ryan Seacrest, listen to me. I'm ever say Darylus. Derek is the is a is a joke teller. And he will stalk you, and he will tell you jokes. You better lock you. You better hide your kids. You better hide your wife. Because <laughs> he, because he's, he's coming in windows. Well, well, Ryan Seacrest is not married. He's not married. He's not married. He never oh. been married. But, but oh, so that means there's a chance, Derek. You better the only, go. The, the only, the only thing we have in common, we both live in the Atlanta area. Okay. He right. Lived in, he lived in Dunwoody area. Um. Um. And he has a sister, like I have a sister, and he's yeah. one year older than me, you know. And and one time we were both in Times Square at the same time, but he was on the stage. I I actually it was so rainy out. I tried to um 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 message him on Facebook and see if he was gonna. I say, can I just come to your tent because you know, like I you wanted... you actually thought he was gonna answer that? Yes, because I was with my kids and and my nephew at the Whoa. time. Whoa, say it again. Whoa, you you cut out. Say it again, Derek. That sounded suspect. That sounded suspect. Say it again because you cut out in different segments. I, I, I During the New Year's Eve back in 2019, when me and my kids went to Times Square, I tried to uh, message him and say, I was in Times Square too. I, I interviewed you back in Atlanta back in the day. Can, can, we, can we get warm and, you know, be near there, you know? Oh That's my right. God! It's all right. worse now. Sorry, right. what did he say? Get warm in Atlanta? No, no, no. Like, like he, he, he <laughs> oh, I'm so done. Did, did I hear that correctly? Did he say that? Is that what he just said? Did he just no, say no. Right, Let's get warm no. in Atlanta. Oh no. my God! Yes. Derek, Derek, Derek. Yes. No. Make the four-hour trip. Yes. <laughs> I need to see this. I need this video recorded. Because one of two things is going to happen. Either Ryan's going to take you up on this offer, or you are going to get tased and maced. Either way, it's going to be great TV. I need to see this. Please make the four-hour trip, because <laughs> you, need, you need to get this Seacrest thing out of your system one way or a goddamn another. Or not, I, drive. Yeah, either, either he's getting Ryan Seacrest out of his system, or he's trying to get Ryan Seacrest no, in his no. system. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. Back in New Year's Eve, it, it, it was so rainy. I was so rainy. I, I wanted to get out of the rain because I know Ryan Seacrest had a had, had a cover. So I was trying to get my kids there and get in the rain. Why didn't you say that? You sound. You made it sound so suspect. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. But anyway, 
Get you said, I want, Ryan, I wanted to get warm under you. No, 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 no. Under, That's under how we took covering. it. Under That's how the covering. viewers are going to take it. No, yeah. under his covering. We need to huddle together. Oh, that even sounds oh, July. July. Oh, that's <laughs> on. He's digging himself a bigger grave right <laughs> now. <laughs> You're digging a hole, son. You're digging right. a hole. All right, so I guess this is where we end the show. Okay, Thank This is why... This is why people have a lawyer, so you don't incriminate yourself even more. Okay, Booch, thank you, Derek. Much. I think you need this for your for your Ryan's fetish. <laughs> oh God, no, 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 uh, no. Squirt, squirt, right. squirt. Just like how, just, <laughs> just, just like how, just like how Ryan Seacrest says, Seacrest out, the pharaoh out. Thank you much for watching, ticketing, and Seacrest in. <laughs> In more what ways than one. <laughs> what do you say? You said shot. You said D shop out. I said and C crest in. Hi. <laughs> <laughs>